Hello and welcome to day number one of our sample challenge called Fall in Love with doTERRA. So with today's samples, we are going to be reviewing the peppermint essential oil along with its partner in crime, Wild Orange. These two essential oils are usually blended together. We love to use these ones together to help invigorate our bodies and bring some energy. I like to call it coffee in the morning. Um, they are some amazing essential oils and very familiar to us because a lot of us have used peppermint before and we've obviously eaten oranges in the past. So you know those aromas, they're familiar to you. Um, but what you may not be familiar with is the benefits of these essential oils for your health. So with peppermint, we're going to talk about peppermint individually quickly. Peppermint is so amazing at how powerful it is to open up your respiratory system. So if you're feeling a little bit congested or you're feeling a little bit clogged up, you can just rub a drop of peppermint essential oil into your hands. Keep it away from your eyes because the vapors of that oil can be pretty strong. Um, but you'll just breathe that in by cupping it around your mouth or your nose. I also like to rub it to the back of my skin and use it topically to cool the body down, um, whether it's a hot day outside or if you're feeling a little bit feverish, you can actually put that on your skin. It'll absorb topically and will start affecting your cells and bringing health and wellness there and just cooling the body down naturally. Um, another reason we use this essential oil or common use for this is for head tension. So if you're dealing with one of those um, tight days where you're just feeling like there's a lot of pressure here um, or wherever you get those head tensions, um, you can apply a drop of essential oil, the peppermint essential oil, and that will ease that discomfort. It's very cooling, very relaxing, and it works very quickly. So that's one of the things that you will learn with these essential oils where um, when you have those issues and you went for something in your medicine cabinet, it may take a while to see some effects happening there where with essential oils, they work very quickly. Um, they're absorbed into the skin or into our airways, into the bloodstream um, within about 30 seconds. So they are fast acting. You'll see relief very quickly, which is one of the benefits I love by using our essential oils. Um, now, when we are talking about these three different ways to use our oils, and I'll post some more of this in the group, um, there's going to be three different ways to use them. One is aromatically, which is just inhaling that aroma, breathing in those molecules. They're going to be getting into your bloodstream by coming through the way of the um, oxygen that you're breathing in, um, still benefiting your cells, still bringing that true health. The, the second way that you can use our essential oils is by applying them topically. Now, when we are using topical application, I would definitely suggest you use a carrier oil. And the carrier oil that I prefer to use is fractionated coconut oil. So doTERRA actually offers this for sale. Um, and the difference of this with your regular coconut oil that you may use in cooking is that this is fractionated, which means it's liquid all the time. So it's the fat molecules have been pulled out of it. Um, it'll stay liquid, which means that you can make it into um, a roller bottle blend or a spray bottle blend where you wouldn't be able to do that with the solid form of coconut oil still has the benefits of dilution, which means that you're not gonna have that really strong uh, sensitivity to these essential oils. They're very powerful. Um, so I love to recommend to use it topically with a carrier oil, no matter your age. It also helps those volatile aromatic compounds absorb through the, the skin with the coconut oil so that some of it doesn't just emit into the air. Uh, you'll lose a lot of that in the vapor. So we wanna put it with the coconut oil so you get the full benefit, benefits of that one drop. Um, and it's able to absorb fully into your derma. Um, so that being said, peppermint is a pretty volatile essential oil, so it's very strong. Some people may have a sensitivity to it. Just the best way to use it is, is uh, definitely diluting that for topical use. Um, I love to use it aromatically and topically, but I also really love to use it the third way that we use our oils by ingesting it. Uh, now, this is specific to doTERRA. I would never re recommend taking any other essential oils internally. And the reason for that, we'll go into depth on this. I'll touch base very shortly on it. Um, but is the quality of the essential oils that doTERRA provides for us. They're very safe. They are tested. You know that you're going to be um, using a product that has no adulterations, no synthetic chemicals in it. It's safe to use internally. 
Um, so what I do with that to use it internally is I just put a drop or two in a glass of water and drink that throughout the day. And what the benefits are for me is any digestive issues that I may have being sluggish or anything like that, it just settles your stomach, gives it a really nice cooling feeling. And it also brings um, a little bit of energy um, because it's very invigorating to, to drink that peppermint essential oil. So those are some common ways to use this. Now you may have just a small dropper bottle of it, um, which is okay. One drop of peppermint essential oil, as most of our essential oils are very powerful per one drop, but the one drop of peppermint essential oil is actually equivalent to making 28 cups of peppermint tea. So it's very, very important that you understand one drop is all you need when you are using your essential oils. Now the difference with using oils versus um, traditional medicine or something like that is you would use this more frequently because it's metabolized by the blood quickly. Um, it's not something that you would want to do every four to six hours. In fact, you would probably want to do it more like every 30 minutes um, until you saw some benefits there or until you saw the, the response that you wanted your body to have. Um, so if you have a little one that's dealing with um, a high temperature and you want to cool their body off naturally, this is something you'd want to be doing every 30 to 40 minutes, applying these essential oils one drop. So you're still not using a lot, but you're just going to be applying that more often and more frequently. So the body is able to absorb that and utilize it and then get another dose of it. So definitely helps in doing those things. So a couple other um, common uses for peppermint is nausea. So if you're ever dealing with um, seasickness or motion sickness, or if you have morning sickness, this one can settle those nauseous feelings very quickly. Um, I really love it for that ability because when you just have that real yucky feeling, it works so fast to just bring some relaxation to the digestive tract. And you can use that for, for nausea, any, any one of those three ways to use those, the oils. Um, okay, so let's talk about its partner in crime, the wild orange. Wild orange is very cleansing. As with most of our citrus oils, um, you'll find that they are a wonderful detox to the system. So if you have toxic overload or if you have been around a lot of toxicity in your life and you want to detox some of that from your from your body, um, just by drinking these essential oils or especially citrus oils, they are meant to break down petrochemicals and pull them out of the system so that they are released from the body, cleansing the body, helping it detox safely and gently. Um, it's also great for anxieties and fear or nervousness. So along with health benefits, our essential oils have many different benefits, not only physically, but also spiritually and emotionally. Um, they are connected to so many different thoughts and moods and emotions um, that you can utilize them to calm nervousness or anxieties or sadness or grief or anything like that. So more than just um, physical issues. We also have great benefits using our essential oils, whether it's aromatic or topically, um, or even internally, to pr to promote those those senses of well-being and the senses of healthy emotions as well. Um, the orange has a very fresh and citrusy smell to it, and I want you to understand that this essential oil is derived not from the citric acid of the fruit which would be not recommended to put in your water and drink a lot of because what that could happen is that it would break down your teeth enamel. This is why dentists are really adamant. You, you try to stay away from a lot of lemons in your water because that citric acid can break down the enamels. Well, with our essential oils, we don't have that problem because the oils are actually um, uh, distilled from the rind of the fruit. So if you're ever peeling an orange and you got a little spritz from the rind, that's the essential oil um, that we have um, distilled and put into this bottle. It's not coming from the citrus from the fruit. It's coming from the rind. So that's the protective barrier that the fruit has and it won't break down your teeth enamel, but it will do all the benefits of protecting your body, improving your immune system, um, detoxing, all of those wonderful things that we, we love our wild orange for. It's another one that's really um, great for our digestive tract. Um, it also can help with heart palpitations, um, withdrawal from any other addictions or anything that you're dealing with. It's a wonderful and very easy, powerful essential oil to use. 
again, you can put it in your hands, rub it together, breathe that aroma in. You can put it into a diffuser, which is one of my um, favorite ways to use this aromatically. I'm going to show you one of my favorite diffusers. This is brand new from doTERRA. It's a very little diffuser, so it doesn't take up much space on the desk. You just pour a little bit of water in there, put a, just a few drops of essential oils, and the really great benefit is that it makes it very affordable to use your oils because this is going to be emitting a um, very powerful steam mist. It's very cool mist. It's not a hot mist. Um, and it will help everybody who's in that space with whichever essential oils that you put in here. So I like to blend my wild orange and my peppermint together in a diffuser. It's great to invigorate your body. It's great to um, wake you up and kind of get you ready for the day. So love to use these two essential oils together. Their benefits are amazing, even separate, but together I love these two essential oils, peppermint and wild orange. So please let me know how you use your essential oils, whether it was aromatically, topically, um, or internally. Remember to use dilution if you are going to use it topically, um, just to be on the safe side. And when you are diluting, just a quick tip, you only need a few drops of your coconut oil um, to one drop of peppermint or wild orange. Um, and if you don't have fractionated coconut oil, you can use any cooking oil. It just will melt in your hands. This It will um, create that liquid. Um, it'll, be, it'll turn into a liquid form that you can use on your skin once it touches the warmth of your skin. Um, so just one drop in it, you would just need a little bit of that coconut oil. Um, and if you don't have either of those types of coconut oils, you can use a lotion or you can use a um, grapeseed oil, an olive oil, uh, an avocado oil. Any of those are great carrier oils. I prefer the fractionated coconut oil just because it's not as greasy. Um, but you can use any one of those as a medium for a coconut or for a carrier oil. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and look forward to some more tips for tomorrow's samples. Again, respond. Let me know how you use your oils or if you have any questions.